My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Fleabag Season 1 and this is a show that I heard great things about so I was very curious to check it out and I have to agree with the overall sentiment this show is definitely worth your time. I'm going to actually keep this review spoilers free just because I didn't know anything about it going in and I feel like lots of people haven't seen it so spoiler free this review will be. But Phoebe Waller-Bridge stars in this show and she's absolutely incredible here. She's just this character who highlights her insecurities and her pain so perfectly as she disguises it with humor and she just feels like a really authentic character. She hits the comedic beats she needed to but when she has to deliver on the more dramatic beats she also excels in that, so I think it's a very great leading performance that carries this show incredibly well. You've got Sean Clifford, who I think is perfect as the more put together, more mature of the two sisters, but you can still see that she's struggling to keep it hidden. That despite her appearances, she's still got lots going on inside. She just keeps it to herself, unlike her sister. You've got Brett Gilman here, and when I saw him, I'm just like, who is this guy? I know him. And then it dawned on me, it's Maury from Stranger Things. I like him in that show, and I really like him here. He just plays this scumbag husband so perfectly. Like this guy who is so desperate for attention, and he just nails this character. Olivia Coleman's in this show, and I didn't know that. When she appears, I'm like, oh! Wow, this is a pleasant surprise, and she's really good as well. You've got Bill Patterson as the dad, and I think he does a great job, especially in the last episode. You've got Jenny Rands Ford, who plays a character named Boo. Not the one from Monsters, Inc., but the one from Fleabag, a show I'm talking about. But I thought she was great. We don't see her much, but we gain a sense of who this character is, based on the very little we see. Hugh Skinner plays Harry, who I think is a great, really well-written character. And kind of the character arc he goes on in this season with very little screen time, I found it to be quite effective. You've got Ben Adridge, who I think does a good job as well. You've got Jamie Dimitrio, I probably mispronounced his last name, but he's very good here. He plays this obnoxious and annoying guy so perfectly. And then you've got one of my favorite performances here with Hugh Dennis. He plays this bank manager and we see him in the very first episode in this one great moment. And I thought that was going to be it for him. But we actually see him a few more times. And there's one scene in particular. Well, the, he has a moment with the main character. And it's just a very honest, sincere moment that actually moved me a bit. And the way he comes back at the very end of this season, I thought was just great. To be honest, very little screen time, but such a fully realized character. And as for the story, if I had to compare it to anything else, I would say it reminds me of Bojack Horseman, where you're just watching someone self-destruct. Actually, you know what? No. It reminds me more of that Ricky Gervais show, Afterlife. I watched the first two seasons and I didn't think it was all that good. And I think this show actually does everything that one was trying to do, but much better. Like, the story of this season is that it's focusing on this woman who just lost her best friend. And she's just coming to terms with it and dealing with it the best she can. And unfortunately, the best she can is sabotaging every relationship she has and hooking up with every stranger and dating and breaking up with the same guy time and time again. It's just this walking time bomb in some sense. And just as a character study, I found it to be very effective. There's lots of layers to what's going on with her. And it also manages to be hilarious. Like, there was quite a few moments that cracked me up. Anytime she breaks the fourth wall, I thought it really worked. It's as smart and as funny as it thinks it is. 
And there's like this one episode that takes place at this little resort, which I just loved that episode. But it also manages to have charming moments. It manages to be sweet when it needs to be. And it just, something about it that feels very sincere and honest and authentic, and I appreciate that. It handles the heavier emotional moments incredibly well. And the way it explores the human condition and the way we handle lost at loss and how that can just destroy us really worked for me and I don't want to give it away because I want everyone to have the same reaction I did but there was a moment in the last episode a reveal and I don't know how on earth I didn't see this coming how I didn't predict it but as soon as I found something out. I had such a huge reaction to it. I never gasp while watching movies or shows. But I was just like, (gasps) jaw dropped and I started tearing up. It's a very powerful moment that adds new layers that won't heal before. And I should mention that not only does Phoebe Waller-Bridge star in this show, but she also wrote it. She's the main person behind it. And the fact that she does an exceptional job in every single regard here is quite impressive. I think this show manages to be funny, emotional, while also being authentic. It's a great character study with fully realized characters and great performances that brought them to life. I love this first season. Oh, and I should also mention, it's only like, six episodes long each one being a half hour which is just so nice so i'm gonna go ahead and give flea bag season one an eight out of ten okay did you watch flea bag what did you think about it let me know in the comments down below make sure you like comment subscribe stay tuned for some more videos soon and gavin out